and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is Ness I like to talk about books today I finally have the February fairy loot young adult box to open the packaging is different it's more aligned with the adult box I like it I am opening this after the fairy loot adult book and I must say I'm not expecting much for this book how could I possibly be after that work of art that the adult one gave us those end papers were the best customization that I have seen on any book ever so I I'm just, I'm, I think I'm going to be disappointed by this one because there's just nothing that they can do. That can top that, but I am looking forward to getting some items. It's been a while since we've opened some items. Given that this box is so delayed, I'm also opening this before the Illuma Crate box, which I'm going to open after this. So I can't compare this one to the Illuma Crate one, but I'll give some thoughts in that video. This is looking very empty. The theme for this month is morally grey. I must say that when they announced the theme and what the fandom items are going to be, I wasn't really getting morally grey from that. We'll see, we'll see. I'm going to withhold my thoughts. We're going to put the spoiler card down. We're going to try and guess the fandoms as we go. It's part of the fun. So the first thing, Oh, is it from Blood and Ash mug? When they said that we were getting a mug, I did not think that this was the fandom for this mug, if I'm honest. We have just got a mug. I know some people are like, stop with the mugs, but I really like the Fairy Loot mugs a lot more than the Illumicrate ones. And I have been saying that I wanted more. This mug is cool. Um, It's not the best quality. I don't think the production of the mug has done the art justice on this, if I'm honest. It is slightly filed so i don't like this as much as the last one that we got which was for kingdom of the wicked so this one is a little bit of a letdown but yeah it's nice to see this fandom on a mug i guess i think it'd be nice if you had a reader friend and they came over to like serve them tea in this like can you imagine getting this at someone's house my favorite part is actually this interior design right here i don't know i'm a bit disappointed but i i like that this is the fandom that they chose Personally, I know this is not everyone's cup of tea. It is a guilty pleasure of mine though. Ever so slightly guilty because I've rated them all three stars. It's a nice item, but if this is the star of the show, I'm going to be worried. The rest of the box is feeling mighty empty. The next item, Snow Oak Pendant. I have no idea what the fandom of this is. So this is the pendant necklace item. I actually thought that this front was the back because of the quality, but that is actually the back. This is like the worst quality pendant that I've ever ever seen. It just looks so cheap and I understand that that's because it is cheap. I would just rather not have an item that looked cheap. Like give me something else that's just functional and can be done to a good quality in my opinion. I still don't know what this is. This could be any book to me. This is a reimagined replica of the pendant mentioned in the Black Witch Chronicles. I have no idea. Not a Scooby-Doo. If you do want the chance to get your hands on this and other items, they'll stay till the end of the video. I'm worried about this box. The next item is actually a really nice item. It's well designed. We've had one of these before. This is an all-purpose bag. You could use this as a makeup bag, brush bag, whatever you want bag. I'm pretty sure even some like a tiny tablets would fit in this. The design is based on these violent delights and the quote says the stars incline us, they do not bend us and it does have the author's name Chloe Gong on it. I really like the design of this. I have used items like this in the past and I will definitely be putting this in my stash, the things that I'm going to get you out of. So far this is probably my favourite item which I'm quite surprised by. I really like the design. I, I think it's very nicely inspired by books. Is that it for the items? I'm scared. Oh, there is an item in here. It's another foiled print, and I'm assuming that this is based on Once Upon a Broken Heart. Is this a rosy print? Yes, it is. I have two things to say about this. The first one is, please, God, to stop putting Once Upon a Broken Heart items in. We have had more than enough of this now, don't you think? If you do like this series though, I think that you are gonna really like this. I think it's well designed, I love the colours, and I love the filing. Personally, I don't mind foil prints as an item, as long as other items are really worth it. I liked the last print more with the one that was based on um, Hell's Moving Castle. This is a fandom that I don't like, which is why I'm not going to keep this item. But I've seen so many comments and discussion on Instagram of the Fairy Loot account about how they are including foil prints as an item. I don't mind it as long as I like it because I am someone that would frame something like this and put it in a room as long as I like it. 
when you don't like a print there is nothing you can do with it and it's very hard to get rid of because something like this will not sell. The only choice you really have is giving this away, which I might do at the end of this video. And last we have the tarot cards. As always, stunning. I love the cohesiveness of this full set and I've really enjoyed it since the start. These characters are based on the book from last month which was Spice Road and they are just absolutely gorgeous. They are a collectible that I used to really hate, now really enjoy and I keep every single one of them together in a pot behind me on my shelves. This has been an underwhelming box but I guess moving on to the book. Like I just needed a little bit something extra for this one I think. This is a colour I've not seen in sprayed edges for a very long time. It's a pale, very very pale pink. That's a choice. Oh this is a choice, this is, this is something. This is not what I was getting from this book but okay. The book this month is City of Nightmares and I absolutely love this colour scheme. I think this colour scheme is so much nicer than the original one which to me was like it wouldn't stand out on the shelves of a store because so many books of this genre use these colours. This scheme though um, I enjoy the pink on it. I think it's a brave move. The edges have this like paint speckle effect and they are also ombre with the front of the book and it has a little like it looks like a pterodactyl here. Is that what they're called? Pterodactyl? Heterodactyl? I'm not up to speed on dinosaurs. Yes, I have an archaeology degree. No, I didn't do the dinosaurs. I wasn't a dinosaur child into archaeology. I was a Tomb Raider child into archaeology. What else have we got? This book is pen signed, which is very nice. On the... Oh, oh, this is a funky choice. <laughs> On the underside, we have this non-plastic cover, which I really like. It's not like the typical one where you'd get your fingerprints all over it. And it depicts this cityscape scene, which for the front of a book is a very weird choice. It's, it's quite plain. The only thing that really stands out on this is this building here of Casino. We go around, we have the title of the book on the spine. And we keep going around and what really to me should have been the front because it has more going onto it is this, this creature again and some more buildings as a cityscape. So I'm guessing if we open this up that's gonna be the full picture. And like this it does look really cool. It's got that whole Gotham theme going which I hear is very of the book. On the inside, fairy loot esque typical right now, but very enjoyable. End papers with the character on and also going with this almost nighttime cityscape. I wasn't interested in this book if I'm honest, but I think I'm going to keep this for this edition because I think this is very nicely done. This is how you carry a theme through into the design of the book, in my opinion. I have no credentials for giving this opinion. And on the back we have a character and I'm assuming the love interest? Maybe? best friend, brother, who knows. Like, but a game of this city, almost nighttime feel. I wasn't expecting anything like this design. I, I really like it though. It's definitely young adult-esque and a far step from their adult book. And I feel like their adult book and their young adult book have definitely left the path together in the way that they are designed, which I really enjoy because, because there is now a definitive feel between one and the other. For a long time the adult books felt very young adult still in their design. So that makes me happy but also I realised just how much I love the adult one now. Also with this is the author letter and the author art on this again is very of the book. City of Nightmares is a book that came up on my radar and instantly went off my radar because it's not something that I think I would enjoy. The other forms of media that it's being compared to have, are just are just not my thing. That's why it surprises me that I want to keep this because of the way that Fairy Loot have made this. Although the thing I will say about this book that I do enjoy is that the main character is called Ness and this is the first book that I've seen where the character has my name and that makes me really excited. I think Ness is a great name and it's so underrated. I hope everyone would agree with me. Ness superiority. <laughs> I might read it just to root for Ness. And it seems like a quick read. The author states that the inspiration for this book came from watching Gotham. I do not like any of that type of thing. I don't like comic-y superheroes. I don't really like modern fantasy-esque grungy things like that. Not a Marvel, not a DC fan. And that's kind of who I would recommend this to. 19 year old Ness is trying to live a quiet life. She lives in a city of nightmares i.e. she lives in a city of monsters. Nightmares are monsters that just terrorise the city 
and earlier on in Nessa's life her sister became a nightmare in the form of a man-eating spider who went on a murderous rampage and killed people including her father. It sounds weird. It sounds totally bonkers. Yeah. Ness will do anything to lie low and stay away from these monsters, even if that means joining an organisation that seems a little bit shady. To join this organisation, she takes on a job which seems to be a simple job, but ends up becoming this complex mess of an assassination gone wrong. And Ness is trying to figure out how this all went wrong. Reviews are mixed. It seems like you're going to either love it or hate it. I don't know where I'm going to fall on this spectrum. But a really nice designed book in a box of items that were a bit of a disappointment. I don't get the theme if I'm honest. I've seen a lot of people comment that for a morally grey theme, this book is not a great choice. These items have no cohesion to them. I typically think Illumicrate is able to theme their items much better than this. It seems like a random collection of items just thrown together in my opinion. Let me know what you thought of this box. It wasn't one of Fairy Loot's greatest. This was not strong for Fairy Loot. I'm looking forward to seeing what Illumicrate has done this month. I have found a lot more enjoyment this month from opening the adult box and I can totally see why people get boxes without items because sometimes the items are just not the thing that brings you enjoyment. It's the customization of the book. It's the book being a work of art which brings the most enjoyment. I'm just like a kid at Christmas with items though. But then I have to keep telling myself I bought this with my own cash. And would I have bought some of these items had I seen them themselves? No. Was this box worth it in value to me? No. Appreciate the cost of everything has gone up. We do get a lot of boxes which I think are value for money. If I was going to buy this book I would have got it in paperback. I would not have bought a hardback copy of this book. So that's my opinion on this box and now I'm going to tell you how you might be able to get these items. I am moving house as you can probably tell because my shelves are empty and, and I have so much stuff that what I'm going to keep a hold of and I typically keep everything, all of the items. I have a Fairy Loot and Illumicrate item drawer. I'm going to start doing something on my channel which at the moment I can only afford to do within the UK but I hope to do this internationally later on when I'm a bit more settled. I'm going to start filling up a box of items and when this box is full I'm going to say that I'm going to give this box away. All you need to do is tell me that you subscribe to my channel and you'll get one random entry into this draw. You will get a bonus entry though if you have never been subscribed to Illumicrate or Fairy Loot because I would love to give the opportunity to someone who has never had a subscription to get some things that they might have wanted in videos that I have previously done. So by any means that you can send this in to me as long as I see it, you can tweet me, you can Instagram me, you can just leave me a comment in this video. Just tell me that you want to be entered and whether you qualify for the bonus entry. I think it might be like once every four or five months that I'm able to fill a box. I don't know, this has around 15 items in at the moment, so I just realized that I can't keep everything. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have stuck around to the end, I really appreciate all the support. Let me know what you're reading right now. Let me know what you thought of this box. I would love to just get chatting in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope everyone's well. Bye guys. Thank you.